Alright guys, we are back here with another video and today I have the Galaxy Tab S2 with me. This is the uh, LTE variant, the 9.7 inch variant as well. So today, we just received a software update which I assume is Marshmallow if I'm not mistaken and there we go. So let's zoom in. You can see it says Android 6 of Marshmallow. So yeah, it's finally here. It's around uh, 1.1 gigs. So make sure enough space and just back up your device data as well just in case so yeah uh, so my device that i got last time came with lollipop out of the box which is 5.0.2 and now we're gonna get the marshmallow so let's go ahead and install this and okay and there we go it's booting up uh, i mean it's rebooting so it might take some time i think around 10 minutes to 20 minutes depending on how many apps you have so yeah I'll be right back once I've uh, done installing my update alright guys I'm back and I've just updated my device to Marshmallow and took around 20 minutes for my tablet to update so now we are done and here we go here's the lock screen let me just make it brighter bit there we go so yeah this is the lock screen I think it's pretty much the same but you can see when we unlock we get a new kind of animation and this is the app drawer so new animation there as well and also the multitasking area you can see we got a some kind of animation let's say we open this and let's go you can see there's like an animation coming in so let's go to settings and show you guys the device version so uh, this is my uh just zoom in my model number you can see here is uh, SMT815Y which is the uh, 9.7 inch variant and it's 4G LTE so let's go software info here and let's just zoom out for a while right there we go so I'm gonna scroll down here you can see that we're running on Android 6.0.1 which is the Marshmallow and I'm running on the latest patch as of uh, as of Samsung um, I've heard I've heard Nexus devices are getting the August update already, but um, we already got the July update for this tablet. So yeah, now let's check out what's new. So basically, you can see um, we slide off the notification panel over here. You can see that we have a white kind of background, no more uh, the blue color background that you see on the Galaxy S six those days. So now we got the S seven team and just looks quite kind of nice in my opinion so let me just zoom in you guys can see so that this is how it looks like and you can see uh, all the toggles and I think they look better and here we go so we have a new one here called smart view which is which has replaced screen mirroring I think it's the same thing it's just a different name yeah so let us now go to this icon here this person here is to switch users and not mistaken so this is my current account and let's say you want to pass this tablet to a guest you can press guest should uh, switch to guest not mistaken and there you go you have a guest tablet now so yeah so you, you guess won't interfere with your personal privacy uh, documents and so on so yeah now let's switch back to my account uh, here we go So I'm back to my account and let's take a look at the camera here. I think it's the same thing. Let's just switch that back. Right. Settings. Don't think there's anything fascinating or something. No, same thing. So the camera is the same. I don't think we have to double tap the camera. Yeah, we don't have that. So let's go to apps here and see some of the new things. So we can see that the the icons are pretty much the same and besides the setting icon that has changed and the smart manager icon as well and the music app has changed as well so let's take a look at the smart manager here for a while you can see it's pretty much the same as the old one but I think uh, they added some feature here called notification settings so you can turn off this if you don't want any notifications which is kind of annoying if you don't like it and you can clean all so this will uh, clear the RAM, cache and uh, try to have some space on your tablet very nice uh, manager here alright let's go to settings for a while 
I'll show you guys what has changed so we can see here we got a new one called smart manager it's a just a, a setting dedicated to the smart manager so actually it's just a shortcut just click on it, it just sends you there so i think that interesting when you go here you can see under uh, users which is the users i've showed you just now you can switch between guests and your account and you also can uh, add new user if you want um let's see home screen this is the same thing um, so now if you go to lock screen and you want to change your screen lock type you need to scan your fingerprint which is new so if, if i want to change the security type i must scan my fingerprint which i'm going to do now oops there we go and uh so then only you can change your your security right now let's move on mm. So I think it's pretty much the same. You get this user manual. I'm not sure if this was there before, but it just opens a website. But we're not gonna go into that. So let's get out of here. All right. So what else? So let's see. Uh, Oh yeah, I'm gonna show you guys one more thing. Let's go to settings. I think it's under display. And if we go down here, you can see we got a new one called icon backgrounds. Let me just zoom in. Uh, icon backgrounds, you click on that. And this is your default icons, <coughs> which is icons only. And you can now set icons with backgrounds if you wish so. If you wish to change your icon style, you can do that now. So let's just try it out put done let's get out here and now you can see you can see on the play store it's like surrounded and the icons inside so i think it's kind of okay oops it's, it's kind of better in my opinion so let's just put it back so in terms of features we got some new features but not that major but overall pretty good update anyway in marshmallow you obviously get the google now on tab you just hold on the home button and you can see it scans the page but now of course there's nothing on tab so yeah and you obviously get the uh, google's uh, battery saving feature called those in marshmallow but it's activated by uh, its own so you don't have to worry about it so let's say the tablet is like on standby and you're not doing anything Technically, it's supposed to last you very long, the standby time. So that's very nice. And I think if you go to App Manager, I think Applications, you can now, I think you can manage App Permissions, I'm not mistaken. Go to More, uh, Change System Settings, I think it's not, it's not this one. Huh. Let's go to one, let's go to this Adobe Acrobat. Yeah, there you can set permissions now for each app, which is the new feature in the Marshmallow. So yeah, and obviously you can change the storage to your SD card if you have, but I don't have my SD card in my tablet as of now. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this uh, Marshmallow update for this Galaxy Tab S2 9.7 variant. And if you are currently still waiting for your update, don't worry, it will be rolling out to all the Galaxy Tab S2, hopefully, in all the other regions that still haven't received the update. But uh, yeah, so if you're using the Tab S2, the 8.0 inch version, you should get it as well, not mistaken. So yeah, anyway guys, that's all for this video. So thank you guys for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you do enjoy it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.